So you'll notice fish act very differently when you first introduce them into the tank and different fish will act different to other fish when you introduce them into the tank. But basically what the fish will do is scope the place out and they will either start to compete with the dominant fish if they think they've got a chance of being top dog or they might f try and find a secluded little hole that they can tuck away and try and stay out of the action, particularly if you're adding a big dominant fish like this black shark. We've also put this Severum in, but he's trying to stay out of trouble and he'll stay there until he feel, feels a little bit more comfortable. We've got this Jack Dempsey here. He's trying to lay low, trying to stay out of trouble. The black sharks have been wandering around and then what the fish will really do is sort of size each other up and try and figure out where they're going to fit into the hierarchy. And then they'll try to find territory that they might be interested in occupying. They'll try and stay away from fish that they think might be a threat. They'll try to dominate fish that they think they might be able to get the jump on. But it's all very interesting to watch. But particularly with tanks like this that have got a little bit of everything in it, it really is a matter of will your dog get along with my dog? Because in a tank like this, you've got fish from all over the world together. And there are tanks like this where all the fish get along beautifully. And there's tanks like this where the fish do turn into a bit of a chaotic riot. But you can understand the tank when you watch it enough and you do sort of get to learn who the troublemakers are and the tank will sort of have a culture about it and though you can't control your fish and you can't control what your fish do you do have control over them in regards to voting them out and you'll find very much so how the fish get along will be very much governed by the dominant fish. If you've got a dominant fish that keeps the other fish in check, gives everyone a chase but doesn't hurt them, then you can have a really great tank. Whereas if you've got an Adolf Hitler fish running your country, then you're in big trouble. So if you see that behavior, and the worst behavior you can see is when the dominant fish just keeps picking on an individual, because eventually you'll wear it down and kill it and then start picking on another individual. If you see that behaviour, um, you can give the fish a little bit of time to settle in, but if that behaviour is going to persist, you've got to vote that fish out. So just get rid of it. Take it down to the local aquarium shop and then what will happen is they'll usually sell it to someone else and then if that fish is not the dominant fish probably won't cause the new person any trouble if that fish is the dominant fish in the other tank then it could be like a boomerang come back again because it could just be a troublesome fish so it is important just like having a backyard of dogs if you've got a bastard amongst the dogs then that tends to influence the other dogs turn them all into bastards whereas if you um if they're all well trained and they're all well behaved then they influence each other for good instead of influencing each other for bad but this is all part and parcel with keeping live animals it's um a lot of the fun of it is just sit back and watch what goes on and don't get too tied up with what should happen because the fish they don't read books they don't know what should happen they just do what they do and the and the way one individual will respond in the tank it can be completely different to another one. So at the moment these sharks are having a little bit of a wrestle. I really enjoy watching the interaction of these sharks because these guys have actually lived together for a long time, many years, and I've actually never really seen large black sharks live together in the same tank. Normally they kill each other, but apparently these ones actually get along really well. They do wrestle which is what they're pretty much doing at the moment. But anyway, very, very interesting. But all eyes will need to be on these sharks.
because if these sharks settle in and become the dominant fish and keep everyone in check, then we'll be very happy with them. If they do turn into bastards, which black sharks have certainly done in the past, then they'll need to come back to the shop. And you've just got to keep your eye on all the fish, like even a little Oscar here. Little fella can grow into a monster and cause you trouble when it's big. So the fish tank really is just like a snapshot of what's going on now and things can change, which is the beauty of of understanding the politics of a tank like this. It's like watching a backyard full of kids. Some get along, some behave, some are little bastards. Good fun.